on the topic of bad trips, uh, have you ever had a really bad trip yourself? The the one mm, drug that I would say that gives me the worst uh, is is cannabis. Oh. Say, and cannabis is also on the psychedelic spectrum, and I have yeah intense paranoia. And actually, what I've found is is that really what it's been teaching me is how to relax into that state of anxiety, or how to let go of all the stories telling my on the paranoia. And it's not something that I like to do regularly as a result of the physical manifestations of that, which is palpitations and just agitation in general. But it's something that I've definitely learned to sit in that discomfort and to observe my mind from the observer, the witness perspective has proved very, it's very fortifying and very character building. So not really with mushrooms and acid. Like I always seem to have such a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, me too, actually. But um, with on the topic of cannabis, because that's one of my favorite um, substances, is the, um, I believe that what it does is it brings you into your limbic and reptilian part of your brain. So we, we tend to have like dominant thoughts that are what guides us through life, but they are like little whispers that happen throughout the day. But we have these strong thoughts, which are normal thoughts, which are just like a sea of ocean of different thoughts coming and going, which come and go. But we have these whispers that are the ones that are like right in our subconscious mind, that are like our intuition, if we choose to listen to it. I believe what cannabis does is it puts you into the limbic part of the brain and the emotional center and yeah. even the reptilian part. And you, well, you kind of have this whole brain consciousness. So you start having a whisper of thoughts turned that amplified into the realms of your normal consciousness. So if there is underlying things that like for me, what I find like if I, if I panic a bit on cannabis, it's usually because I shouldn't be high at that point. I should be getting some shit done that I've been putting off. And my, my brain starts to say that to me out loud almost. And that's where the anxiety comes in. That's what I find with, um, I don't know if you, or something like that yeah that's interesting that brings up the whole set and setting point of um taking psychedelic substances it's like is this an appropriate time and place am i yeah. in an appropriate mindset before i've done this and i guess in your case you've like been like yeah it's fine i don't have anything to do and then you smoke it it's like yes you do yes <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, like, exactly. yeah, like, it wasn't an appropriate set and setting for you therefore that's a moment for your subconscious mind to start yeah, and I think the same thing is probably with um, stuff like shrooms and acid as well, because the only times I've ever recently done shrooms and things like that is in a ceremonial kind of setting that I've created. And um, nobody there has had a bad trip. You know, everyone's had like pure, but because the intention is to, to do something like that, like a ceremony. But mm. I noticed that people who do it like, at a rave or something like you know too much of a dose they can have like really bad bad trips yeah i just met up with a friend i hadn't seen for a long time last night and she said they went to this crazy gig in london and they all took two cb and thought they'd have a great time and they were on the toilets just like oh, no, oh really 